Hello and welcome to another Vlogmas video from me, Lauren, from Lauren and the Books. I forgot what day Vlogmas it is. I'm filming this ahead of time and I've forgotten what day's Vlogmas it is. But let me show you what I've got on today. Probably one of my more understated Christmas items. It's a Pogues t-shirt with, um, there we go. And it says Fairy Tale of New York underneath. Couldn't really get up to do that. But I have got a uh, lovely... Uh, Santa headscarf on. Been very much getting into headscarves recently. This is just from Lush. Um, Lush do like um, present wrap, so you can wrap up things in um, in little headscarves and things like that. And I saw that on the wall, and I was like, I love that. Um, so yeah, Fiverr from Lush. Very nice. Luminous Fiverr Christmas is on. Today I am doing a birthday bookish haul. Now I didn't get very many books for my birthday. I think the risk is, is if you're a big reader and you own a lot of books, people are frightened to buy you books in case um, they buy you the books that you already have. So I actually got two books, but I got a, a range of actual bookish stuff. Just adjusting myself here, just so I can look my full beautiful self for you. There we go. Um, and I've also got a few tea items to show you as well, because in my mind, tea and books they fit together. They, that you will very rarely see me with one without the other. That's probably a lie. You're probably more likely to see me with tea than you are with tea and without a book than you are with book and without tea. But blah 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 blah. Let's get on with it. So the first thing I've got is um, two Lego items. David bought me, um, and I'm very much looking forward to making these. I haven't had a chance to do it yet. And what I like to do is make these, make Lego whilst listening to an audio book um, or a podcast, and just sort of like just concentrate on something in front of me for an hour or however long it takes and just have a wonderful time. It's such a de-stressor of mine. It's a real big, if I've ever got my mind on something um, that's worrying me, something to do is just sort of like a, a Lego task and I'm there. Another thing that helps me is cooking, following a recipe. But these ones, so I've got the <coughs> brick heads, Lego brick heads in Hermione. Look how cute she is. She's got a little book in her hand and everything. Um, and I also got the double pack of Dumbledore and Ron. And look at Dumbledore's hat. This box is a bit damaged, sadly. Dumbledore's hat has got like all these lovely swirly patterns on. And um, yeah, and uh, Ron's got a little school jumper on. So very much looking forward to these. I already own Harry and Hedwig, which I should have showed you actually. Do you want to see it? Shall I go and get it? I'm going to go get it. So here's Harry that I made. Look at his scarf. Look at him. So cute. And here's Hedwig. Look at Hedwig's wings. So cute. So yeah, looking forward. Looking forward to making the other guys so I can have a whole family. I might put them on my bookshelves. Very good. Keeping on the Harry Potter theme, my nan got me and I don't think she had any idea what she was buying me. She was like, what is it then? What is it? I think she just knows I like Harry Potter and just went for it. She got me a quill, um, which is a pen, a black ink ballpoint pen with an ink pot holder for display. <laughs> so that's going to go on my desk. When I was opening it, she was like, do you like it? What is it? She didn't know what it was. But yes, very cute. I might, I think I'll leave it here. I don't think I'll take it to work. It's a quill with a little pen holder. Uh, and then I got a wonderful bookmark from my colleague, Cara. She went to Iceland on holiday. I forced her, forced her to read Names for the Sea before she went to Iceland. She very much enjoyed it. Um, but she bought me this wonderful little bookmark, which has got um, Icelandic penguins on. Um, so that I've just whipped that out of a book that I'm reading at the moment. So that's very nice. I keep having to lean over. Do you know what? I love filming here and the people keep saying, oh, oh God, what's going on? And everyone who keeps saying, oh, the aesthetic's really lovely, it is really lovely and I love it. However, I've got a little room for a little table here, but not much else, so I have to keep leaning across. Um, the next thing I've got is a necklace from another work colleague. Very, very fortunate I am with work colleagues. In fact, I haven't worn this yet and I might put it on now. This is a necklace with a book on. Let me uh, focus in on it for you. There we go. It's from the Literary Emporium and it says underneath, I declare after all there is no enjoyment like reading. How much sooner one tires of anything than of a book? And I'm going to undo it now and put it on now because I feel like that's a lovely thing and I've been waiting to show you because it's wrapped up so beautifully. Um, I've been waiting to show you and it's silver and it's got a little book on it. Um, the Literary Emporium is fantastic for literary gifts. If you're looking for some literary gifts to gift somebody, that is my number one place I would recommend you go. I did a book, I did a uh, gift guide a few years ago and I bought quite a few bits from Literary Emporium. Um, if you wa if you're watching my most recent gift guide, it links it in there. Um, but yeah, I mean, well, that took longer than it needed to, but yes, I've got it on now. So lovely, lovely. Uh, pop those bits over there. Uh, the next two items are 
actual books. Um, they're the only two books I got for my birthday and I'm very excited about both of them. First one is from the very same friend who bought me this necklace and it is The Ice Monster by David Walliams. Um, I have read a few David Walliams books and I very much enjoy them. I really like the illustrations and they remind me very much of um, reading Roald Dahl when I was younger. The illustration style is very similar to that of Quentin Blake. Um, and I've listened to a few of his on audiobook as well. Very much enjoyed them. I think they're real good fun and um, for younger readers, fantastic. David and I also like a younger reader book. Um, so yeah, I'll probably be reading this um, during the uh, the colder times. It's actually a much bigger um, book than the previous David Walliams ones that he's done. Um, but yeah, they're just such fun and they have great illustrations throughout. Um, I'm not really sure what this is about aside from an ice monster, I believe. Oh, it's set in Victorian times and Elsie, an orphan, hears about a mysterious ice monster, a woolly mammoth found at the North Pole and she's determined to discover more. So yeah, sounds very fun. And then the other book I got was from my daughter, cat Minnie. Minnie, my cat, she bought me a book for Christmas, uh, for my birthday, and it is a, um, a graphic novel, and it is Mean Girls Club Pink Dawn by Ryan Hershka, and it's published by Nobrow. And Dave and I are quite fa fans of Nobrow. We tend to buy each other gifts from Nobrow. I've got him a very good movie book. Um, and I really like, I mean, I love Bright Pink anyway. This just looks like it's gonna be about kick us. It's about the lascivious ladies of the Mean Girls Club have been raising a riot around town and the cops are onto them. Prepare for a mad dash of boozing, skull busting and general mid-century mayhem as they deliver a swift stiletto stab to the crotch of the patriarchy. Here, here. Um, and yeah, this is, uh, looks like it's gonna be super duper fun. I think this might be one of the ones that I read um, after Christmas, one of the first ones I read because I just feel like, I mean, look at it, look at it. It's just that, that, I feel like this graphic novel was made for me. Then I've got a few stationery items. The first little set is from my gorgeous goddaughter Molly. She got me a very cute little notepad which has got all these sloths on it and then a matching pen as well. Now I get through notepads at a rate of knots and I'm forever starting new ones and not finishing old ones. However, finishing an old notepad is one of my favourite things to do. Just like looking back and thinking, oh I've really used that the whole way through. Um, so I'm always using these particularly for like YouTube ideas um, and I actually need a notepad for 2019 YouTube ideas. So I think I'm going to scribble a little 2019 under that notes and, um, and start planning 2019. 19 video so thank you Molly then I got this gorgeous notepad also um, from uh, Jen Campbell Jen Campbell I would say Jen Campbell's real name uh, full name, Jen, um, and it's got a little cat on the front and it says, and breathe, and it's nice big lines, it's got a little section up here for date. I've been thinking, when I was younger, I used to really, really love writing stories and things like that, and when I sort of hit, uh, somewhere along the line, I stopped doing that, and I feel like I've got a pretty good imagination, I'm quite creative, um, and I'd love to get back into either writing a story or writing a journal or something, and when I got this and when I was flicking through and realised that there's a little date section, I was like, maybe this could be it's not intimidating it's not very long so like it's not gonna fit it's not gonna like think oh god I've got to fill this whole thing like I feel like maybe I'll start doing some writing in the new year maybe I don't know I feel like maybe I will maybe I will I don't know but this book I think will be perfect for that and I really love this cat it looks a bit like my mum my and dad's old cat Tigger who I used to call Tinky Winky um, and then we're on to the tea so the colleague who got me the lovely bookmark also got me this amazing tea cosy. I love it. I haven't actually, it's over a teapot, but I haven't used it yet. However, I am filming this on a Wednesday morning. I've got the, I've got a half day on a Wednesday morning um, and I'm not doing to work till after lunch and I'm just about to do some editing and things like that. So I feel like I might make myself a pot of tea, sit in my special chair and just edit and read and things like that with a nice pot of tea that I can keep chopping up with some of these teas that I'm about to show. But I love it. I absolutely love it. I was um, saying, one of the doctors I work with was saying his mum does a lot of knitting and I was saying, well, why can't she knit me a rainbow tea cosy? And Cara took that and got her, her mum to knit me a, uh, a rainbow tea cosy. And I mean, she's fully met the brief, hasn't she? Look at all those amazing colours. I really, really love it so much. It just makes me so happy when I look at it. It really does. Um, and then finally, my friend Emma got me um, a set of teas from Bird and Blend. So Bird and Blend um, is a, a, uh, a brand that I mention quite a lot on this channel. Um, they used to be known as Bluebird Tea. Um, so you might have heard me mention them. But she got me this little box, which within it has four different bedtime teas. Now, um, I don't drink caffeine. I um, I feel like I feel like I've gone on about this enough. But I um, I suffered with anxiety a few years ago um, and one of the first things I cut out was um, caffeine and booze and I've never gone back to caffeine or booze. Um, I've been maybe thinking about 
putting popping a little bit of caffeine back in just to see if it's made any difference if we're a bit more resilient towards it now um but the, the majority rule is i don't drink caffeine um and i love 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 a bedtime tea and this was four different bedtime teas only one of which i tried before and it's also one of my favorite teas ever so she's really done a wonderful job here the one that i tried before is dozy girl which is fantastic it's chamomile lemon vervena hibiscus rose petals and lavender it really is the nicest ever deck chair dreaming is a new one that i've recently had and i think this one might be the one i have in a minute uh, this is chamomile apple pieces rose hip linden blossom hibiscus valerian orange peel then pandelicious licorice uh, which is chamomile licorice peppermint and ginger and then moon drop dreams which i've also had oh god i've got to smell this because this one this one might be my favorite smelling of the lot oh god it smells so good this has got rubus apple pieces rose hip lavender orange peel fermented lemon peel uh, and orange peel lots of lots of peels in there i think this might be the one that i'm just about to have and put in my teapot with the tea cozy on um just because the others have got um chamomile in and chances are i may well fall asleep also i got in with them which i've used one of and i don't know if these are reusable i don't know if they they can be but you get these bags that you can actually put i've got like a lot of like those tea strainers and tea and things but you get these bags and you can pop your tea in there do it up and then it's like an actual tea bag i don't think they're reusable but they're very 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 handy and if i can get some more of these i think i will um but yeah so those are the items, the bookish and tea related and stationery related items that I got for my birthday, for my 32nd birthday. Um, I hope you're all having a wonderful vlogmas time. I am now going to do, as I said, make myself a pot of tea, edit this video, maybe read a little bit and just have a lovely time. I hope you're all having a wonderful time and I'll see you again tomorrow for another vlogmas video. Bye!